Oh, man, that was cruel. What the hell is she talking about? Contestant number one. Oh. All right, gents, so the video I'm reacting to is Jubilee's blind dating six men based off their appearance. I like this because human beings are visual creatures. Women, especially, they look at a man, they make a judgment. Whether it's right, whether it's wrong, it is what we do as human beings. And so she's going to go through and she's going to make a lot of judgments based off of the style and a little bit of personality. I think she's going to talk with them, but uh, let's find out. <laughs> Six versus one. Hi, I'm Jess. I am 21. So first off, I'm going to say that she's absolutely beautiful and it seems like she's got her ducks in a line. It sounds like she's already graduated or about to graduate undergrad, looking at law school. Wouldn't say that's the best option for most people, but hey, at least she's looking at that and fashion her sense right there, going to thrift stores. What I love about thrift stores is they're independent of what the box stores are pushing on you, especially if you go back 10, 20, 30 years, all of a sudden you start finding things that you like. So yeah, and I like her style, you know, it works for her. Let's see what she's got. What I tend to lean towards is like Tyler, the creator, kind of. If a guy can pull off a suit, I'm also very into that too. So what you'll notice is she just laid out four different styles, which she's into, which describe hundreds of millions of men, or at least how we envision ourselves. This just goes to show that yes, a woman may think that she knows what she's looking for, but hey, if you can pull off that look and if you've got the personality and maybe you have a few other things lined up in your life, you stand a good chance. So just because she says her type is this doesn't mean that she's not going to be interested in you. And it really, guys, I've said it before and I'll say it again, it comes down to confidence. You not wearing a costume, you finding what style works for you and then embracing that, practice wearing it and yeah, wear it with confidence. Now, for practicality reasons, I know why they're starting off with shoes, but symbolically, shoes are the foundation of a man's wardrobe. So, I'm really happy that she's going to be looking at that footwear first and having to make a decision, you know, which guy am I going to eliminate? Which guy am I going to stick with because of the shoes? Women look at the shoes. Why? They're a focal point. They're an end point. And historically, it has been something that usually people of means have been able to afford nicer shoes. Nowadays, pretty much everyone can afford shoes and those that have style, have fun with their shoes, it allows them basically to express themselves a bit more. So, let's see what happens. Ooh. I'm like not a huge shoe person in general and they're probably like the last thing I think about when it comes to an outfit. Now, I don't know if I believe her when she says that shoes aren't important. Consciously, she may think, you know what, I don't pay attention to that. But if someone were to come up to her without shoes or someone come up naked, of course, you're going to notice because they don't have clothes on. An extreme example we pay attention to. The little things though, oftentimes it's subconscious. It's something that we have an idea of what success is, what kind of person we like to engage with, people we like to be around and we, we attribute them to a certain style. So, uh, yeah. Let's see what someone who apparently doesn't care about shoes, what she does actually think about. Okay, contestant number two. I like those shoes a lot. I would wear those shoes, yeah. <laughs> also, um, contestant number four. Those are pretty nice. I'm curious what's going to accompany the rest of those. I so, contestant number four. This isn't maybe something she would wear, but they stand out. And that's one of the key aspects if you're out there dating, if you're out there wanting to separate yourself from the crowd, one of the easiest things to do is just simply change up your style, change up your look. Not everyone's going to like it, but some people will. And it's better to be, I think, loved than it is to be, you know, that 80%, 90% that fits right in the middle. Better to be an extreme sometimes. Anyone that's ever, you know, had a beard, anyone that has shaved their head can tell you certain women are just into this. They will come up to you and a bar and just start putting their hands on your head, on your beard, saying they love a beard. So, guys, don't be afraid to go a little bit extreme sometimes. What kind of music is everyone into? Like my favorite genre is probably like rap, like Kanye, new album Donda. I'm a producer. I make a lot of music from different genres, anything from like reggae to hip hop to house music. I'm a big R&B guy, but I definitely like to mix it up with alternative music as well. So, at this point, we're getting into personality and what's interesting is, again, we're only looking at the shoes, but you go through and you're like, oh, I can see how it fits that guy. Oh, that shoe reflects his personality. You see how this works? And it's amazing how people start placing this together, but it makes you memorable and, again, it allows you to stand out. 
So. And speaking of shoes, have you ever worn a really nice pair of shoes and not gotten compliments? Gents, do me a favor, let's stand in solidarity, smash that like button. And if you have gotten compliments, let me know down in the comments what you're wearing and what the compliment was. It always feels great to get a compliment, doesn't it? Okay, let me, let me go back, let me go back. I'm betting that she's gonna eliminate number five. His shoes don't really stand out. And what he said, it, he just kind of blended in. So I'm get, I'm betting number five is gone. I'm going to have to eliminate, very sadly, contestant number one. Oh! Hi. Hi. I'm sorry, You your outfit is amazing though. You I too, love you it. Too. Thank you. <laughs> what happened to your face? Oh, it's just Nelly inspired. So contestant number one. Not my style. I think that this is a good elimination for her. It seems like, you know, she wasn't that much into him. So, hey, just not a great fit. And again, that's one of the nice things about setting yourself apart with style is when people see you, some people get it, some people don't, and you want to be around people that get you. So when it comes to a man's trousers, jeans, shorts, pantalones, whatever you want to call these, this is an area I look to keep pretty plain. Why? Because as a guy starting off, you want to basically have this as your base canvas. So going with tans, variations of browns, grays are great because it's a non-color going to match anything. It allows you to have a little bit more fun with your shoes, with your shirts, with your jackets, and just keeps everything interchangeable. That being said, for a guy that's already got his basic interchangeable wardrobe built, you can have fun. And let's see what uh, these guys did. Ooh, okay. Contestant number five is not what I was expecting at all. I don't know. I so contestant number five, she's already saying great things about it. I don't know if she really likes it. It's a little bit maybe too much for her, but those patterns and that color. And let's talk about color. So there are ways if you're just, you know, you want to liven up your trousers, don't be afraid to bring in a solid brighter or lighter color. This right here actually keeps it relatively easy to match as well. And it's going to be still interchangeable. That being said, it stands out from the crowd, the sea of just tans, browns, and uh, grays. Contestant number three is kind of what I expected. I also liked his music choices too. So very promising. So three, again, what she expected. So sometimes your clothing can set the tone. It really sends that message really far. Hey, this is what I'm into. This guy more into classic sounds and hey, dancing. This all fits exactly what I would expect from this guy. Where would we go on our first date and what would we be doing? Definitely love to go on a drive, probably somewhere like near the coast, you know, get that like nice ocean breeze. Afterwards, I would love to like show you some of my music and maybe cook. So one thing I want to point out really quick is notice the use of jewelry. These first two guys, I noticed bracelets, rings. These guys are having fun with different bits of jewelry. Another great piece that can really set you apart. You have to wear it with confidence. A lot of guys I know, they're like, ah, you should only ever wear a wedding ring. Not true. I actually have fun. This is a an aura ring, so it allows me basically to track myself and my activity throughout the day. Point is, have fun with these pieces. Don't, again, think about who you are, define that, and then use your style to leverage and send that signal out with visuals. For me, I consider myself like a big romantic. Definitely gonna take you out to dinner. Maybe a place I haven't tried before or somewhere that I know that's really good. And then maybe go like dancing or... What kind of dancing would we do? Like swing dancing? Ballroom dancing? I can so I like that she's asking follow-up questions. That shows that she's interested. She's thinking, okay, this guy's talking pretty, keeping it pretty simple. Dinner, going out and doing something. Again, it fits his style. She knows what she's going to get, which a lot of women like. Not everybody does. And again, this is why it's so key to be able to master your style to send out the image you want. Because she She's either going to really like this guy and he's going to go farther or she's going to eliminate him. He's the safe one. And I have to say that I think number three, and we'll see how this ages, is going to be what he's going to be the semifinalist. He'll get to almost the very end. Maybe he might even win. I'd probably take you for a ride out to my favorite spot on uh, Angel's Crest Highway. And we probably would have a picnic there and after than uh, an art museum. I would choose a drive in movie. I drive a truck, so. I've got a pretty impressive drive-in movie set up. Air mattress, blankets, pillows, picnic, all of that, all set up. Just two? Oh. Oh, she's got to eliminate one. two. Ooh. Okay. Twist. I think now. I'm going to eliminate contestant number two. Hi. Hey. Yes. So overall, I think this guy's style is fine and I think that this is a good elimination because there just wasn't a fit on personality. I think he could have gone out higher and it would have been something she would have liked, what she would have seen. This style really works for his complexion, his hair uh, really stands out here, but it just seemed like there wasn't a personality mix, which is fine because you just people, some people you're not going to get along with. All right. 
So now it's going to be contestant number two. Oh, this one is painful. I thought this guy was going to go the distance. At least we know that, okay, she apparently wasn't into it that much. Man, like this, this one is painful. I need a minute, guys. Like, I'm sorry to see this guy eliminated. Sorry. No, Hi. you totally get it. I'm Jess. I'm Jess. I nice love your you. outfit so Thank much. Thank you. Though. I appreciate it. And about the <sighs> what a shame to see that guy go. I'm going for the guy with Jordans. I think he's got the most personality with this style. Really took a chance here. I'd like to see him win. Now, as we're taking a second here, gents, let's talk about something when a woman sees within a split second, she either likes it or she doesn't. What am I talking about? Your face. Now, on one hand, you can see a lot of this is out of your control, your facial structure, your skin tone, your eye color. However, there are a lot of things that are in your control. Do you have healthy looking skin? Is your skin clear, full of color and life? Or is it rough looking, flaking, looking dead? Gents, if you're looking for the best natural skincare products on the planet, check out Vitamin. All Vitamin products are made in Australia using unique ingredients from the Australian outback. If you're looking for quality, quality, natural, organic grooming products, you need to check out Vitamin. Now, as an owner of the company, I could talk about them all day, but instead, I'm just going to give you some product for free. Seriously, down in the description of today's video, I'm linking over to our free sample kit. This free kit includes our most popular products, so don't miss out. Use that link down in the description. Go over and claim your free sample kit today. I feel like the tops definitely match the pants. All right, Jen, so we definitely got some personality here in the tops. I'd have to say she's exactly right. This works with the pants, with those trousers, with those shorts, what we expected to see, maybe not fully expected. So, you know, definitely the guy with the color. I didn't expect to see the Virgin Mary right there on the shirt, but hey, you know, it's a uh, the whole Hispanic culture. It'd be very interesting to see what she does now. Yeah, I like the, the leather jacket, goes with the motorcycle, goes with the rock music. It's all making sense now. The jacket guy. Okay, so she's into that. She likes this. He seems to be doing pretty well because he has no negatives and she got past what I felt was the non-confident voice. Yeah, let's see what else she has to say. Yeah. Oh, nothing about me? I, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> it looks very like comfy. I see maybe a little bit of a chain. I like that. So interesting with that first guy. I don't know if this is good or bad that she actually didn't say anything about him because the way that she's making her decisions here, I think that she already knows who she's going to go with. And here's the thing is human beings, we oftentimes make a split second decision early on and then we look for data and information to justify our decision. It's not that we're going to change our decision. We're going through and finding things we like or we don't like that agree with a decision that was earlier made. And again, that's why first impressions are so important. And we see this when people think that a person is smart and trustworthy, even if that person betrays that early on, they're like, oh, it must have been a hiccup or a mistake versus if we make a negative impression about somebody, then we're actually, it takes a while for them to break out of it. Yeah, it's going to be, uh, I, I really don't know who she's going to choose. Where do you see yourself in five years? I am leaving in about six months uh, to Asia. I'm starting a business project in the Philippines with my friend. I mean, this guy sounds like he's out there to change the world. But the problem with this type of guy for a lot of women is that he's leaving in six months. So this is really just going to be short time. He's focused in on his mission. I have tons of friends that are like this. They're out there trying to do great things, whether it be with business or nonprofit, but they do have a lot of trouble dating because it's difficult to date someone when they're not there. Oh, that's a great answer. Yeah, that's super sweet. I like that. <laughs> Probably tattooing and trailing at the same time. Currently, I'm doing a tattoo apprenticeship down in OC. All right, the motorcycle guy is, I think she's really into this guy. I, I'm going to go ahead and predict he's going to win at this point. I do not have any tattoos right now, but I do want to get one eventually. All right, so she may be into the whole bad boy vibe, which this guy definitely has. I'm pretty stationary compared to everybody else, I suppose. I would like to either open up my own dealership or start brokering out cars personally. Cars are my passion. Okay. I'm guessing she's going to eliminate the first guy. I mean, he's got a great story, but he's not going to be around. And then that would give her the choice of go with the bad boy or go with the guy that looks a little bit bright, but seems to be a bit more stable. I think the first person I'm going to eliminate is contestant number two. Oh. As you guys can tell, I apparently don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Yeah, I just don't understand this woman, but uh, hey, it's her life. 
Hi, hey. I'm Jess. Nice to meet Mauro. you. Mauro, pleasure to meet you. So you guys know who I'm going for. The guy with the Jordans and the color. I mean, the Virgin Mary on the shirt, I absolutely love. Growing up Catholic in Midland, Texas, Our Lady of Guadalupe was our church. So he's got Our Lady of Guadalupe, it looks like, right there on. Yeah, I got to go with this guy. This is really tough. <laughs> I feel like I like both their outfits in different ways. So now I gotta think back to the answers. <laughs> I'm gonna eliminate contestant number two. I'm so sad about it though. <laughs> It's all good. Hi, I'm Jess. Nice to meet you, Jess. Quinn. I like Quinn's outfit, a little bit casual, but I like how he took a chance there, had fun, and hey, he was the la you know, second to last man standing. And it's gonna be interesting to see who this winner is, and it just goes to show that yes, uh, you cannot understand the what did anyone actually get this right? Let me know in the comments below if you like at the very beginning knew that the current guy actually was gonna win. The reveal. Hey, I'm Jess. Hey, what's up? Nice meeting you. I really like this guy's top style. So I love love the hair, love the change. I mean, this really works, sets him apart. Um, the color with the hair right there, you know, it's just something, um, yeah, not my style, but I love how he brought this in. So we had some, I, I think some great guys in this, uh, you know, in the setup here. That's I liked really what cool you were idea. gonna do, like your plan for five years, I was very into it. Okay, boom, notice. She said it was that earlier thing he said that really got her and she just kept going back to that. I knew, she knew at the very beginning who the winner was going to be. That's why first impressions are so important. That being said, guys, it's a numbers game. Not everyone's gonna jump for you. You've gotta be able to put yourself out there. Don't be afraid to be yourself and uh, Boom, yeah, right there. I, I think yeah, all of us here are happy to see, hey, we at least one guy got lucky, right? I mean, let's get married. Oh yeah, okay. We're married. It was good to be. Hi, Jen, so what video to watch next? How about my reaction to Courtney Ryan? What do you guys think about it? Find out what I think about her in this video, boom, right here.